I think they're both quite confident children and I think certainly at least part of that would be attributable to the Steiner influence. Six and one fifth. So you make these into sevens? Yep. Both of Charles Livingston's children, Carla and Jack, have attended a Steiner stream in this public school, Footscray City Primary. Theirs and many others' experiences have been happy, a far cry from Ray Pereira's. He's withdrawn both his boys from the stream and the school, citing a range of concerns that culminated with a teacher's assessment of his younger son. She thought that his soul wasn't fully incarnated yet, and uh, which was a rather strange thing for me to hear at a parent-teacher interview. And then she pulled out um, some drawings that he'd done, which showed him... Uh, I guess looking down uh, like a plan view of whatever he was uh, drawing and she used this as evidence that uh, his soul was hovering over the earth and uh, looking down on the earth and so therefore she felt that he was still he wasn't quite ready to move on into the, into the following year. These are the polarised views behind the conflict besieging the school. It's bearing the brunt of a wider debate about the place of spirituality in public schools, indeed the very nature of public education. That's, um made me sad that the division has been created um, by, I believe, a few people who are unhappy. Well, the problem is that in relation to the Education Act, they breach the three vital clauses, which is free, secular and universal. They want their children to be educated in a very stable and a very supportive learning environment where they are allowed to be children and they are allowed to learn um, in line with their natural development. This is a Steiner Stream class in Briar Hill Primary School, a well-integrated program, by all accounts, for three years. To understand the Steiner education philosophy, it's worth considering the man who inspired it all. Austrian philosopher, artist, playwright and prolific social thinker, Rudolf Steiner. In the early years of last century, he founded the movement of anthroposophy. He called it a spiritual science. Steiner education has been in Australia for 50 years and it has served the Australian educational landscape very, very well. Two times seven is 14. 7,000 students are now currently in private Steiner schools, but now eight Victorian public schools have Steiner streams, encouraged by the state's policy that lets schools have a large say in their own curriculums. The stream at Footscray City has been in place since 2001, but Jenny Lands, the mother of a child in the mainstream, is in a fiercely critical minority. Well, we're hearing stories of parents coming home, their children have uh, brought home pictures of the devil. We have uh, stories of parents coming home, listening to their child talking about how they uh, have been reincarnated and how they've chosen their parents. We've heard stories of parents saying that their child's come home and said, you're not the boss of me, God's the boss of me. So as you can see... Jenny Land says anthroposophy is promoted through the school newsletter. And while she doesn't call it religion, she says it teaches religious and spiritual practices. Public schools are supposed to be secular. That's an absolutely vital cornerstone of public education and, it, and it, you can't fiddle with it. I accept that um, there is an element of spiritual, spirituality to Steiner's underlying philosophy and his underlying pedagogy, but that is, that is a spiritual, spirituality which is focused on understanding the relation between people and the world that they live in rather than pushing any particular religious barrow. It certainly doesn't push any doctrine. Well, I would like the Education Department to, to tell me where in the guidelines that re, where reincarnation is a criteria for, for putting my kid up into another, another class or not. Well, it's more of a common understanding about what secularism means within a government school system rather than a distinct definition. John Allman says the current independent review into Footscray City Primary will ensure the school keeps to guidelines for specialist curriculum approaches that were updated last year. They include a requirement to obey the Act that requires secular education but doesn't supply a definition. We have people available within the department to guide that process at the local level, but you're right in terms of the Act, whether it be the 1870s Act or the Act of 2006, the actual definition of secularism is broad. One of the more controversial Steiner practices is saying morning and afternoon verses. 
Some verses may mention God, a lot of them won't mention God, there is no uh, interpretation of God. If you're making some sort of ritualistic uh, uh, address to God, uh, then it's very difficult to say that it's not a prayer. Dr David Millikan brings several perspectives to this. He's a Uniting Church minister, a recognised authority on cults, and had a daughter attend what he calls a quite secularised private Steiner school. But he says there's no place for Steiner in the public sphere. I don't really accept that there is a clear division between Steiner's educational uh, 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 t teachings and his underlying philosophical and religious systems. It's simply a, um, a way of uh, developing a, a, a greater consciousness, if you like, but none of that is, comes into any classroom. One of Steiner's more notable features is that the first years of education are based on creative play and artistic activities, with formal reading and writing left until later, more specifically, until adult teeth are evident, according to many Steiner advocates. Rosemary Gentle says a delayed reading age is in line with many other countries. One thing is to distinguish between formal reading and writing and literacy and numeracy. We do a great deal of work with literacy and numeracy in the early years. There are sometimes children whose teeth haven't developed uh, as quickly as others who, who won't be taught to read until they're sort of eight or nine years of age, which is a very risky sort of business. Before the Footscray City stream began, one education department report said Steiner education would appear to be the antithesis of the philosophy of the state's early years programs in terms of literacy, and that Steiner education is based on a philosophy of cocooning children from the world to develop their imagination and learn to conjure up ideas, which it said was contrary to the curriculum policy of the time. I am aware there was an issue at that time, but there was further discussion beyond that and a decision was made to allow the stream to be introduced at Footscray City. As the debate continues, it's perhaps reassuring that the attitude of at least one Steiner student is nothing out of the ordinary. It's just good. It's just school, really. That report from Mary Geeran. Last month...